I would like you to put your hand up if you feel that you have been discriminated against or you felt prejudice against you. Ever in life or right now? Life. Life, 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 life. Where I live, they just look at you like it's very different from the society. Me carrying a cricket bag, walking in the area, they just look at you like you're nothing, like you shouldn't belong here. What kind of tracks you like wrong to like go to the corner shop like late at night or something? That kind of thing. I like, don't hesitate to stop. It's happened like three or four times this year already. Maybe be a last wear a tracks so, yeah, yeah, if yeah. I'm going to the corner shop, you know what I mean? I used to be bullied at school for being Indian. I'll tell you a little bit of some of the things I've been through. Yeah, I was one of very few brown people in the, in the, in the town. Um, I used to get called the P word quite a lot. Put your hand up if you've been called that. I say the P word, yeah. So I grew up with that. Um, I've been attacked in the streets. I've had issues with the police as a result of it. When I was your age, gents, yes, I wanted to be white. That's all I wanted. I wanted to fit in with what I, my surroundings and what I had. I have became really proud of who I am, where I'm from. Okay, and that's, for me, on this, what I want to instill in you guys is to, one, be proud of who you are, right, and to celebrate each other. That's really important. With Elliot, obviously, he was talking about his problems. I felt those problems were similar to mine. It made me realise that I can get off my thoughts, but he can't get out of his thoughts. We're just getting them settled in on day one, getting them playing some cricket and talking about some, some pretty important stuff for them. I grew up in Scotland and, and I come from a mixed race background. I'm blessed to have been, have been brought up with more than one coach in my life. But it wasn't until I was a bit older that I started appreciating that. But it's something they can associate with. And they go, oh wait, maybe I am experiencing some of the same things. And, and for me, hopefully that opens, you know, it opens a conversation. Like, we all want to hear and we all have everything to share. And like, some of us, like, we're not brave enough to say, but if we hear someone share their experiences, then that makes us want to contribute as well. I don't get it as much, so it's quite interesting to find out from other people's point of view and how it affects them. It's cool to find out like what's different in our lives and how we've come together through cricket. Mostly every background who's playing for Vic is not only white, it's Asian, black people, everyone who's talking about it and stuff. It's just been amazing to see young people comfortably opening up about experiences, positive and negative, but also feeling that they've gone away empowered to really go and tackle these things moving forward and help the next group of young people that come through. You can be proud of who you are and maybe they don't get told that enough. And if we can be part of that, then that's, yeah, it's amazing and that's part of what Wicket says in my, in my mind. It feels great because you know you're not going to be judged. It needs to get across and we need to stop discrimination for people with disabilities or because of their race. It feels like, you know, I could be myself. We're not teachers, you're not coming to school. You know, you're coming to your safe space to play cricket, to, to do what you need to do and to get out of work is what you need to, to get out of it. And as, as development officers, I think that's one of our big roles is creating that environment that allows these young people to fulfil those needs. These coaches, what they have did for me is that they've made me more confident about myself. When we're not playing, you know, we're talking and learning and celebrating differences. Well, things like this really afford the young people and the young men here today an opportunity um, and we just hope they, they take it on board and they, they run with it. <laughs>